If you, O Lord, should mark our iniquities, Lord, who would survive? But with you is found forgiveness, O God of Israel. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good morning to you all. It's a pleasure meeting you again to celebrate the Holy Eucharist together. So let us place our intentions. Um, the listed intention particularly is um, to offer thanksgiving with Lucy Nebria and of course the mass having infinite merits allows us to even add our own individual intentions and also on the side there is today the um, day when uh, Pope John the 23rd died and it is the day of his sainthood as well so we can put a lot of intentions and you can also include your own intention for the mass because you come here to pray not just for your own uh, improvement but for other issues that may arise around you and you would wish the Lord to intervene so let us put all these intentions together and prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries let's make the penitential act I confess to almighty God to you brothers and sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words in what I have done and in what I have failed to do through my fault through my fault through my most grievous fault therefore I ask blessed Mary of a virgin all the angels and saints and you brothers and sisters to pray for me to the Lord our God may almighty God have mercy on us forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life Lord have mercy Christ have mercy Lord have mercy let us pray may your grace of Lord we pray at all times go before us and follow after and make us always determined to carry out good works while we make our prayers through our Lord Jesus Christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit one God forever and ever a reading from the letter of Saint Paul to the Galatians when Christ freed us he meant us to remain free Stand firm, therefore, and do not submit again to the yoke of slavery. It is I, Paul, who tell you this. If you allow yourselves to be circumcised, Christ will be of no benefit to you at all. With all solemnity, I repeat my warning. Everyone who accepts circumcision is obliged to keep the whole law. But if you do look to the law to make you justified, then you have separated yourselves from Christ and have fallen from grace. Christians are told by the Spirit to look to faith for those rewards that righteousness hopes for, since in Christ Jesus, whether you are circumcised or not makes no difference. What matters is faith that makes its power felt through love. This is the word of the Lord. God. Lord, let your love come upon me. 
Lord, let your love come upon me, the saving help of your promise. Do not take the word of truth from my mouth, for I trust in your decrees. I shall always keep your law forever and ever. I shall walk in the path of freedom, for I see your precepts. Your commands have been my delight. These I have loved. I will worship your commands and love them and ponder your statutes. Let's all stand up for the Fugolus Mission. <coughs> is something alive and active. It can judge secret emotions and thoughts. Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus had finished speaking when a Pharisee invited him to dine at his house. He went in and sat down at the table. The Pharisee saw this and was surprised that he had not first washed before the meal. But the Lord said to him, O oh, you Pharisees, you clean, the, you clean the outside of the cup and plate, while inside yourselves you are filled with extortion and wickedness. Fools did not he who made the outside make the inside too. Instead, give alms from what you have had and then indeed, everything will be clean for you. The Gospel of the Lord. We ask ourselves in a reflection following what we have just heard. We come to pray for ourselves, for others, we find that there are needs in our lives that we need to consider, and if there are going things that are not good, we need to ameliorate, we need to repair, we need to get straight, and who is the one who we ask for? And that is, of course, Jesus Christ. It's very good. But then, of course, we perhaps are astounded and wondering why in this situation Jesus criticized the person who, the Pharisee, who was in fact um, <laughs> judged by Jesus that he cleans the outside of the cup and plate. That is, of course, the uh, explanation. Con consider that perhaps when we are having tea and coffee or whatever, we always clean the cup and the plate. While inside, Jesus said to this guy, yourselves, you are filled with extortion and wickedness. Jesus is not just uh, downtreading and pushing down the person. He always finds something applicable to us as normal living in the world with what we do in our material things and the conditions we live. And um, sometimes Jesus takes it as a, an example to teach 
and to make the people realize and reflect, put that reflection in their mind that maybe not everything is good simply because we go out looking like princes, you know, changing our clothes and going out. He said, on the outside you look nice, you look good, but inside I don't like you. Well, of course, he's not saying that to us directly, but if we go the wrong way or pretend that we are doing sort of good in the community when they see us so that we can get their respect and perhaps even their remarks, how good we are, we think, then we turn to Jesus and look at Jesus and say, what do you say? The answer is not given to us exactly by Jesus, but we can reflect it ourselves. In other words, we make a reflection on our life. Are we sincere? How are we conducting our day-to-day -day activities? It is a simple thing, is it? Because I am not going to give the answer, because each one of us looks into our own way that we are living. Perhaps there are times when, let's say, we lose our temper and we go really the long way and not feel that uh, we are in union with others. We are either criticizing them or they criticize us. Well, let's not take this as a serious um, kind of challenge by those around us. Because sometimes it would be ourselves who did not keep the peace by saying nothing, but sometimes we make even a simple comment that would hurt others, and therefore we start the conflict between ourselves and them. But this is a short reflection, a short gospel reading, of course, simply created by Jesus for us to reflect. So it would be good if from time to time, even while we are in the church, we are here close to the Lord and we ask the Lord to give us his opinion of us. Or how do, we, how do we fare in the presence of the Lord? Are we seen by Jesus as acceptable for the way that we live, for the way that perhaps we conduct ourselves in the house, in the home, and then we come to the church and look like holy saints? So we really have to sort of rearrange our way of conduct, spiritual conduct as we call it, how we get on in our lives, not only when we come to pray and feel that all the bad things behind us, the quarrels and the wrong things that we have committed, as if they are automatically uh, repaired by Jesus. Let's feel that we are sincere in the sight of the Lord. So let's Today, continue with this Mass, asking the Lord to be holy like the other person that we are reflecting on today is Pope John XXIII. A lot of us remember him. He was even nicknamed as the Holy Pope. In fact, he lived a very holy life. He gave a good example to those around him and to the whole Christian population. But also, today we find that uh, he obtained also the title of a saint. In fact, we refer to him as Saint John the 23rd. We are not simply thinking that uh, we are going to be in the list of saints when we die. Whether they write about us or not, it doesn't matter. It's how we decide we live sincerely, truthfully, within our souls, within ourselves. 
So having said this, let us ask the Lord to give us the courage to be honest, sincere, and truthful when we appear in his presence so that we will not get the criticism like this fellow in the gospel has received. So we say thank you, Lord, for giving us the chance, the opportunity to repair our souls. We ask you simply, forgive us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And so we can continue with the sacrifice of the Eucharist, where Jesus himself comes to us and gives himself to us in the Holy Eucharist. <clears throat> Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. May our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. So wash me, O Lord, from my iniquity. Cleanse me from my sin. Pray, sisters and brothers in Christ, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept, O Lord, the prayers of your faithful with the sacrificial offerings that, through these acts of devotedness, we may pass over to the glory of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right, right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for Although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift. Since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation. To Christ our Lord. Also, in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you as with joy we proclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up 
for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Vincent, our Bishop, his assistant bishops, and all the clergy. And now remember also all our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, <clears throat> we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom. <clears throat> Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let's share friendship and peace with one another. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, through your death gave life to the world, 
Free me by this your most holy body and blood from all my sins and from every evil. Keep me always faithful to your commandments and never let me be parted from you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. And may the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen.
Behold, the eyes of the Lord are on those who fear him, who hope in his merciful love, to rescue their souls from death, to keep them alive in famine. In thanksgiving for the hope communion that we have received, let us conclude with this prayer. Let us pray. Grant, O oh Lord, we pray, <clears throat> that benefiting from participation in heavenly things, we may be helped by what you give us in this present age and prepared for the gifts that are eternal. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May the Lord bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. I am not saying let's go because now the next thing is to um, place the Holy Eucharist in this. Um, and prepare for a few moments of adoration before we get on with our own individual lives.